Abigail Fisher argues that if she were African American or Hispanic, she would have been admitted to the University of Texas at Austin in 2008, but because she is white, she was not. The University of Texas acknowledges that it gives preferential treatment to African Americans and Hispanics, but argues its admissions policy is narrowly tailored to serve the compelling interest of conferring the educational benefits of diversity on all its students. Whenever the court sees a case of racial discrimination, they apply what they call strict scrutiny. And there are a couple of parts to the test. First, they want the state actor to be able to show a compelling interest. And then the discrimination that they're engaged in has to be narrowly tailored to serve that interest. The Supreme Court decided that no deference to the University of Texas is appropriate in the narrow tailoring part of the test. And because the Fifth Circuit had deferred more generally, um, instead of, uh, of deciding that issue for themselves, the Supreme Court remanded it back to the Fifth Circuit to make a determination of whether or not this policy is narrowly tailored to serve the compelling interests of conferring the educational benefits of diversity on all students. The Fifth Circuit took a look at it. They decided the case the same way they had when they had been deferring. Um, and therefore, Ms. Fisher petitioned um, for the court to take this case uh, one more time. And the Supreme Court did indeed take it. Fisher versus one, what ended up being the important issue was deference. Should the court defer to the University of Texas's judgment that its own policy was narrowly tailored? And the court decided no deference in that. That is not appropriate. The Fifth Circuit decided it was narrowly tailored, and the Supreme Court now has the opportunity to disagree with that if they want to. But this is an unusual case in the sense that there's a lot of written material that suggests that the educational benefits of diversity really don't have very much to do with these policies at all. A very important reason that we have a narrow tailoring requirement in strict scrutiny is that it allows us to smoke out insincere uh, claims of compelling purpose. Um, a state involved in race discrimination will claim one purpose, but you can tell it's not really the purpose because the policy isn't really narrowly tailored to achieve that purpose. The problem for the University of Texas is that prior to the decision in Grutter versus Bollinger, it had already been bragging that it didn't need race preferential admissions policies that the fact that the Fifth Circuit back in the 1990s had ordered it to stop engaging in race preferential admissions policies, it was arguing that that hadn't hurt them, that they were doing okay without those policies. And then it turned around and reasserted those policies as soon as, it, as Grutter versus Bollinger made it possible for it to do so.